Hi, my name is Danielle Oakford. I'm a Safeguard and Engagement Manager at Disclosure and Barring Service. And I'm here today with one of my colleagues, Alistair Woods. Alistair is a Regional Safeguard and Outreach Officer for Northern Ireland. We're going to be talking a little bit to Alistair about his current role within DBS, hoping that you'll find out a little bit more information and you'll find it useful. Okay, first off then, Alistair, can you tell me a little bit about yourself and your current role within DBS? So as Danielle said, I'm the Regional Safeguarding Outreach Officer for Northern Ireland. So my main responsibilities are, you know, try and raise the profile of the Disclosure and Barrens Service and the key products that we as an organisation offer to the key stakeholders and partners that we have in Northern Ireland. A large part of my role and a large part of my responsibility is engaging with the key partners and stakeholders and help support them make safer recruitment decisions going forward and, and understand the products that we as an organisation offer, more so from a barring perspective. My background in safeguarding comes from kind of a range of organisations. So I was formerly the lead welfare and safeguarding officer for a sports organisation, a um, national and government body in Northern Ireland. But I do also have quite a lot of experience of working within local authority councils and also within some education settings as well. So it's mm-hmm. nice to nice to come into a different role and be a bit more focused on safeguarding and that outreach aspect and, and working with partners and mm-hmm. stakeholders trying to make sure that there's a bit of consistency right the way across Northern Ireland. Mm. So you've touched on that really, Alistair, in terms of, of what you actually enjoy about the role. And you've just mentioned there that, you know, you like the idea of working with partners and providing consistency across Northern Ireland. Is there anything else that stands out for you about the role? Yeah, I love being involved in a team that has a major ability to impact the safeguarding children and vulnerable adults landscape right the way across mm-hmm. the UK. So obviously there's myself based in Northern Ireland, but you know there's a number of other members of staff and a number of other members of the team you know, who are based right the way across the UK and in England and in Wales itself. I feel, and one of the things that I really enjoy is the opportunity that we have as an organisation to engage with all these key partners and stakeholders is tremendous. And mm-hmm. I think as a team as well, we are able to showcase the excellent work that DBS does and, you know, the opportunities that we can provide partners and organisations to learn and to grow. Fantastic as well, you know, with the different national campaigns that people would run the annual conference and hopefully now with the appointment of these regional outreach workers, there'll Mm -hmm. be a number of regional events that we will be able to run as well, you know, going forward. And again, that will only strengthen the knowledge that these key stakeholders and these key partners have. Mm-hmm. And, and it does sound really exciting in terms of the direction that it's going in. And, and I suppose for some context to the audience, back in 2020, we launched our DBS 2025 strategy. And within the strategy, one of our key objectives was around profile. And this talked about including DBS seeking to become a, a respected and trusted organisation. So working with our partners to play an influential role in the environment in which they and we operate. Alistair, it the links directly then to to your role in terms of the strategy yeah so the dbs strategy for 2025 is naturally linked in everything that we as an organization do and what we aspire to do it reflects a number of our core priorities where we aim to provide high quality service for all our customers as well as raising the profile of the disclosure and foreign service and i think that's a really key point for for the regional outreach program in terms of raising the profile so the one of the main strategic priorities is you know, profile and raising the profile of DBS and mm-hmm. what we as an organisation do and what we can do. Mm-hmm. So through the Regional Outreach Programme, we're going to aim to raise the awareness of DBS and the services that we offer. So by keeping people informed through, you know, communications, mm-hmm. increased public understanding in our organisation in terms mm-hmm. of what we do and what we can offer. And also aiming to come, become a respected and trusted organisation. Yeah. You know, yeah. we're in a pretty unique position whereby we have quite a lot of responsibility in protecting you mm-hmm. know children and vulnerable people as well as employers themselves so we want to be the face of the organization that does that so yeah. you know to be respected and trusted in the community and know, people know that they can come to us whenever they do have a, a mm-hmm. career or a concern is going to be vital so working with our partners influential role in that environment yeah um, which we operate in is going to be key yeah so so thinking about your role specifically who you're working with and any benefits to the approach so far could you tell us a little bit about what you found yeah, so I'm I'm currently working with some of the largest recruiting organisations in Northern Ireland to help them better understand the role that DBS as an organisation can play 
and supporting their safeguarding structures and practices. So mm -hmm. some of the key stakeholders that I've I've met with and that I'm I'm currently working with include the Department for Health, the Education Authority, yeah. Child Protection and Sport Unit, and some of the local authority councils who would be some of the biggest employers of people in regulated activity, you know, right right the way across Northern Ireland. A lot of the work that I'm carrying out with partner centres around the their legal duty to refer and the different ways in which organisations can submit a referral should they have a safeguarding concern about an individual. Mm -hmm. I suppose I'm in quite a unique position whereby I have access and I in Northern Ireland who look after the disclosure side of things. Mm -hmm. So it's their responsibility and their role to process the applications for members of the public who require a criminal record check for their employment purposes. So I'm in that kind of unique position where I have another partner to kind of work alongside. And mm -hmm. that's another thing that I'm looking forward to in my role going forward is to kind of strengthen that relationship that DBS has already built with Access NI and something that I'm kind of, I'm just building on and, and yeah. establishing that relationship and that point of contact with them. So I'm, I'm looking forward to working alongside them. Yeah, brilliant. I mean, I, I think in terms of, of the insight that you've provided today, Alistair, about your background and um, the role of the regional outreach officer in Northern Ireland has been invaluable. And if anybody would like to find out more about the work of the regional outreach team, they can contact us through the email dbsregionaloutreach at dbs.gov.uk. Thank you.